Lady Grey. There is a very well kept secret in our province and I'm going to tell you all about it. It's a little town tucked between mountains out in Alamo North called Lady Grey. Before we left for our July holiday, I asked my dad, Dad, what are we going to do there for a whole week with our TV? And my dad answered, we're going to have a lot of fun, mate. I didn't believe him, but guess what? He was wrong. The first thing we did was ride our bikes. This place is so cool that you can ride your bikes in all the main streets without your parents worrying about some lunatic running you over. The kids don't watch TV in the day. Very strange, I know, but believe me, it's fine. They actually survive. <laughs> our second day's adventure was riding our motorbikes up the mountain pass. This was the coolest part. Oh no, the coolest part was getting to the top. Just as a cloud passed over and snowed everywhere. How cool is that? Believe me, when the world is still, the wind doesn't even whisper and snow falls, it's magic. I thought that this was the best day of my life, but no, I was wrong. That day was still coming. Our third day was a visit to our third day was a visit over to Bears Pot, where I rode the four wheeler with my mom on the back to a picnic spot next to a frozen river. Yes, you heard me right, a frozen river. We tested the ice first by throwing big rocks on it, but nothing broke it. Then I decided to walk on the ice because everyone else was too chicken and I was only brave. Then my dad decided to give it a try. And let's just say, it didn't end well. He broke the ice and fell in. <laughs> when we got back to have our picnic, my dad got his metal detector out and found us all old brass bullet cases. All these things together on one day mean that this was the best day of my life. But no, I'm for sure, no question about it. Our fourth day was a hike to see 400 year old Bushman paintings. During the hike I found a real Bushman's tool which you are going to get authenticated by the East London Museum. We picnicked under a huge rock ledge. After lunch, we hiked some more to see the Bushman paintings. There was even a picture of an animal spirit leaving its body. Free. <coughs> Our fifth day was a visit to see the Cape Boucher Colony. Wow! Amazing! You should see the size of these birds. They make nests on cliff faces and their babies grow up on them and don't even fall off. <coughs> these birds are endangered because farmers poison carcasses to kill other animals but can end up killing the vultures who also feed on them. Our sixth day was a visit to see the town dam where it's called Arbuses. These birds are almost extinct and are very special to see with their bright red heads, long red beaks and red legs. If you thought a hardy doll was a strange prehistoric looking bird, you should see its cousin. That's very strange. <coughs> Every day at about 5 o'clock we made log fires, toasted marshmallows and played board games. By the time we got into bed, the temperature was below freezing and all I could say was thank goodness for electric blankets, heaters and log fires. Without those, we would be frozen too. <laughs> Unfortunately, we didn't get to see the dinosaur fossils or go visit Hutcliffe where the British left overnight during the Boer War. <coughs> we can do that when we visit on October again. In October, roll in October, I can't wait. <laughs>